Hi, welcome to the how-to video series of Project Track for Jira, a place to learn more about making your project tracking more effective. In this video, we will show you how to visually track your Jira projects from a pie chart that Project Track incorporates in the shape of a gadget, allowing you to embed them in a Jira dashboard and track your projects precisely. Let's create a pie chart gadget. In the main menu of Jira, click over the drop-down menu named Dashboards. Go to the final item and click over Manage Dashboards. Then let's create a new dashboard by clicking over the button located in the top right. Give it a name, a description, and all the users you need to view, edit, and have access to this dashboard. We are going to leave it in blank because we're going to build it with Project Tracks gadgets. Once in our new Jira dashboard, let's click over the Add Gadget button located on the upper right side of the dashboard or in the link Add a New Gadget. A pop-up window will appear displaying a list with all the gadgets available for you to insert within the current dashboard. In the pop-up window, we're going to head to the search bar on the left and type Project Track. We're going to add the pie chart gadget. Once selected, a configuration panel will emerge in the same dashboard. We close the pop-up window and let's keep going with the configuration. First of all, let's name the gadget. We recommend it be as descriptive as possible. We are naming it All Projects by Status. In the source of the gadget, we could use two different types of sources. First, we could use the project query language, styled PQL, which will represent a specific search of the projects you need to keep track of, and can be validated right there or not using the Validate Query button. It will inform if your PQL is right or wrong. And second, you can use a saved filter, which is pretty much self-explanatory. You will select from a drop-down menu a previously saved filter containing the information about the projects you need to keep track of. This time, we will use the All Projects filter. In the following configuration, we select which project field we need to visualize in the pie chart. In this case, we will choose the Status field. Another option regarding the visualization of the data is about how we need to sort the results. Do we want to organize the data according to each field value, or do we want to organize it by alphabetical order? Let's choose to organize it by its values which is the predefined option here. Next, we have two more options. Do we want to show the total value of each value of the project field? Or do we want to represent it in a percentage? Or both? We choose both. As the last step in the configuration of this gadget, we get to customize it even more. We can select from different sets of colors how we want to display our pie chart. There will be a suggestion of colors based on the project field we previously established, or we can customize it with hex color codes. We will keep going with the status palette of colors suggested. Now, let's save it to watch our report. It looks beautiful, right? Being here, we can visualize the project data information. Below the pie chart, we can visualize the total of projects represented here. We can also see the total number of projects in one status or another, represented with the total value and percentages. It's important to emphasize that all of this data is actionable and clickable. It takes us to the correspondent list of projects in the list view to dig into them. We can see the total amount of projects and the ones corresponding to each status. Another great feature is that we can export this project information from JIRA. With just a click, export the pie chart containing your JIRA project information to a PDF format, as you can see. Also, you can export the table with the information the gadget is displaying to an Excel format, making the data clickable from there. Never has it been so simple to report your JIRA work to C-level executives. How simple! Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check our YouTube channel for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and follow us on our social media channels.